Hard work, persistence, and the power of prayer. That's what one Metro Detroit woman credits for her history-making success. But in tonight's Rebound Detroit, 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom sits down with Greta Jackson to talk about her journey and why achieving your goals means nothing if you don't share it. As women, we are often told what we can't do, what we shouldn't do, and what we're not capable of. But the good thing is, there are so many strong women who refuse to listen to all the negativity and the naysayers. Instead, they listen to what's here and here. East side of Detroit, uh, born and bred, six mile in Davidson, raised by my grandparents, raised in the church, raised in love. My roots are definitely run deep in Detroit. Went to Detroit Public Schools, graduated from Detroit Northern in 1993. I am 45 years young. Greta Jackson is the definition of driven. With ambition in her blood, she goes for what she wants. And Greta works hard to get what she and others deserve. So she decided to go to college and major in business marketing. I was working 30 hours a week, carrying 12 credit hours, and had a newborn baby. I got pregnant with her my first semester in college, so that made me have to work a little bit harder to do some of the things because I now had two people to provide for. Nothing could stop Greta. She was also interning in corporate America, but she wanted more. I was about 23 when I started with Outback. And after starting with this company, quickly decided that this could possibly be a career choice. They create an environment where you don't have to be afraid to be yourself. You don't have to be afraid to grow and develop. She started out as a server. To bartender, assistant manager, to kitchen manager, to front of the house manager, to senior manager, to managing partner. At this Outback in Roseville and Greta, is the first black woman to do so. The corporation, her staff, the customers, Greta's family, friends, this community are all so proud and so inspired. Literally 19 years in the making, like no shortcuts, you know, nothing was given to me. I literally worked my way through every position, came up in the ranks. When you're so focused on, on you and what you're trying to do, you don't really always take the time to, to realize or understand how it is gonna affect other people. And I did not and could not have imagined the impact that my success or my own personal success will have on others. And Greta wants other women to look at her and see what she's accomplished and see themselves and believe that this can be you too. It's gonna be a lot of people who tell you what you can't do and just put your focus and your energy into showing them what you can do. Pray, God will direct your paths. And when it gets too much and when you become overwhelmed, pray. Um, I, I prayed my way through this process. I'm gonna be very, very honest because I, I definitely could not have done it alone. What's next for Greta? Well, now that I have this, I have to be great at it, okay? So I have to excel at it. it it's not a title, it's a lifestyle. So it's gonna do me no good at all if I get this opportunity and I've received this opportunity and I don't put everything that I have into it to be the best at it. It's not about me being a managing partner or the first woman to be the black woman to be a managing partner. It's about now that I have it, how do I pay it forward? How do I make sure I'm not the last? For Greta Jackson, it is not just about being the first black woman to become a managing partner here. It is also about paying it forward because Greta refuses to be the last. In Roseville, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.